Hi, this is Alan from Rich Solar, and I'm here to show you a quick demonstration on how to install a simple 160 watt flexible solar panel into your battery with the controller. So this here is an entire kit that we do sell. Here we have the 160 watt flexible panel underneath. We have the 20 amp MPPT solar charger controller, and it comes with all the cabling, which is the extenders here for longer extensions. You have the uh, connectors that go from the controller into the actual solar panel. And here we actually have the wires that go from the battery into the controller. So I'm going to simply show you how to do a quick install. It's fairly easy. If you look at the front, you're going to notice that it already comes with two different cables. You have the positive cable, which is noted in the red sticker, and you also have the negative sticker. So left side is positive, right side is negative. And what we're going to do to get this started is to use the extenders first. So now you know that we're using the positive side, you're gonna use the positive red cables and you simply insert the male into the female and you'll notice that you'll hear a nice little click just to make sure it is inserted correctly. And from there, you also connect the cables that go into the controller. And the way that you know that these are the controller cables that go from the solar panel to the controller is one end has the exposed wiring. So we're gonna go ahead and take the extender cable, use the male tip, insert into the female tip. You'll hear the little click. And like so, you take the open wire. Now, the controller is gonna have multiple inputs. You're gonna have multiple inputs that say PV, which is basically the solar panel. You have the positive and the negative. Remember, red is positive. You're gonna simply use the exposed cable, insert in, and screw down. So you're gonna repeat that step with the negative side. So remember, you're gonna take the negative cable on the solar panel, click it into the negative wire, make sure you hear the click, click the female into the male of the connecting wire, which goes into the solar charger. So once again, make sure you put it into the negative side, simply insert and screw down and gently give it a tug to make sure it's nicely tucked away. Now, what we're gonna do also is use the battery cables and you'll know these are battery cables by the end of the terminal, or by the end of the wiring. These are what hooks onto the terminal. So just like we did before, we'll start with the positive, simply just unscrew the terminal nut here and screw down tightly. Now you will probably need a screwdriver for this, but for this demonstration, we're just gonna kinda show you how to install it. And the wires do come with um, the tip cover. You're just gonna simply pull off the tip to expose the wiring. And you're gonna insert into where it says battery. Now we're using the red side. You're gonna put battery positive. Once again, insert, screw down. And you do that for both sides. So without having to show you, you're just gonna simply do the same thing. We'll just demonstrate it. Simply make sure it's nice and tucked in, secure, exposed wire. And this will go into the negative side of the battery terminal. And once you install everything, you're gonna notice that the screen starts to show the digits and that's the simple install. And lastly, we're gonna show you on the back of this panel, because these flexible panels are built for outside use, there's also an adhesive that you can actually take off and stick onto the top of, let's say, your roof or your sailboat. Um, this will come with an adhesive that falls off and the sticky part, portion of this will go onto, you know, pretty much any outdoor uh, surface that you want to use and just make sure you clean the surface in order for the adhesive to stay on. And that's just a simple setup for a 160 watt flexible outdoor solar panel. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call.